Hello everybody, this is Faith from faithspizacademy.com. Welcome to our lesson where I'm going to share with you how to edit or customize this lovely financial organizer created by Rebecca and well, is inside our treasure box for Canva creators. Now, one thing that I tend to do is that if I see a set of templates that's already super colorful and super beautiful, I want to create a minimalist version of it. Now, on the other hand, which if you are watching the lessons in sequence, like for example, um, the templates contributed by Melanie, right? These are minimalist and I like to think of ways to actually add designs to it. So why? Why do I do that? Because, well, it allows me to sell multiple versions or variations in design for the same product, right? So if I want to download this as is and sell it as a PDF, you know, printable financial organizer, this is perfectly fine. You know, it's already nicely done up. I could just use it as is. But I'm also thinking about for my customers who might not actually want to print it out or rather they want to print it out but they don't want it so colored to save on the ink. So then in that case, it would benefit them as well as me, you know, to appeal to their interest in my product by also offering a minimalist version of it. Okay, so just to give you some ideas, so what I'm seeing right now is there should be some kind of digital paper or background on this page, right? So all you have to do is replace it. Okay, it's super easy. Just replace it with a different digital paper design or remove it entirely and add in your own graphics. All right, now here I'm going to go to file and make a copy before I start making edits. So I always have a master copy inside my Canva dashboard that is not touched. All right, please make sure that you're reading um, all the commercial use rights stated by every content creator when you're using their templates okay so let's see now what i want to do is like i mentioned i want to make it minimalist so i think i'm going to just delete each of these digital papers what i also want to do is um let's see i'm thinking whether or not i want to change the text i might not want to change the font because you would see like here, right? If I change the font, it's going to affect the alignment of this. And I either have to go to every page to resize it or I have to move these graphics. But I'm a fan of water watercolor floral. So I'm just probably going to leave it as, as that. So I'm not going to change the font. But even just by removing the digital paper background, you would see that things are actually pretty different already. So as I'm going along, I also want to change out the colors. All right, um, actually this is fine. I think this is fine. Just by removing the digital paper background would already make this uh, a lot more uh, ink friendly in that sense, right? So of course, if I want to, I can still change the colors, right? So just to show you, let me just zoom in here. I could go to this and look at this one, change color, and maybe I'm gonna change to a faint gray instead of a purple. And let's just try that and change all, all. There we go. And then the pink will also change it to the same shade of gray. Yeah, I'm fine with that. All right, and let me go into the grid view to see how much we have changed. Most of the purples and the great, most of the purples and the pinks have now been changed and I think it's fine. Okay, because if I'm trying to make it uh, less less ink friendly i'm more ink friendly that's what's going to happen oh then i realized that then i realized that some of the did some of the florals disappear also not too sure okay never mind let's stick with this for now and i'm going to just continue with deleting the uh, the backgrounds okay la we have got 43 pages. Okay, let me just go back to the grid view again. So Rebecca has included, so I really love all these that she has done, you know, like habit trackers, you know, the trackers, debt payoff tracker, car loan tracker, where she has the money bag, the cars and all that, which makes it really cute. You know, you could just circle them, strike it off or whatsoever. So that's great. Um, but my personal preference is for, uh, let's say, 
portrait calendar. Okay, so this is what you can do. Like for example, if if I want to stick with portrait calendars, okay, I could hold down the shift key and select multiple pages and then delete it. And this is where we can also mix and match different sets of Kimba templates. Okay, is it working? Yes, now those pages have been deleted. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Melanie's 100 pages PLR template where there are portrait layout undated monthly calendars. So here I'm selecting January, holding down the shift key to select December and now I have all of 12 pages. Ctrl C to copy and going here and pasting it. Ctrl V to paste it. Just give it some time. There we go, right? But remember they have different fonts. So let me just let me just proceed with deleting the rest of the background first. Oh, I accidentally deleted a page. Let me just undo that. Yeah, this is a very nice gift budget savings tracker. Okay, let me just delete that. Now, I want to see what font this is. Better Saturday. Okay, that's an additional blank page. So I'm going to change this to Better Saturday. Uh, let me search for it. BTTR. This one. Okay, and then I'm going to change all of the Euphoria script to Better Saturday. So it looks neat. Aha! Looks good to me. Now this grey will also need to be changed to the same shade of grey as the rest of the page. Let's see if it works now. And how about this? Oh, I could possibly ch No, now it becomes too light. I can't really see the grid line. So I'm going to undo it so I can get back the olive green. Would you call that olive green? And just make it black. Uh-huh. Change all that olive greenish shade to black. And change all. Okay. So that um so that it still matches with Rebecca's original design where the lines are in black, right? So now we are basically trying to mix and match two different uh, templates together into one new financial organizer. Like I said, because my personal preference is to have portrait calendars so that would fit that would fit better yes okay but this black line now becomes a little too stark and I'm trying to see if I can delete it ungroup it but it gives me a lot more work now okay let me just delete that okay why why am I doing that because when I look at the grid view right now none of the other pages have that black line underneath the title Right, so now this suddenly feels a little off from the rest of the page, unless I want to copy this line instead. Control C to copy. So, and then I have to modify the rest of the pages. Ungroup. Deleting that and then pasting it here and shifting it. Okay, yeah, I think it looks better now. Positioning it to the back. So I'm trying to make sure that the design still looks seamless, you know, because even though we're mixing and matching uh, different templates together, we do want the design to look seamless. Like we don't want people to think that there were different, uh, you know, pages designed by different people, right? We want to make it look seamless. So I'm just going to ungroup it and deleting this and then pasting in and making sure I move it back. Of course, these are, this will be much easier if I choose not to change the undated monthly planners from landscape to portrait, but well, I just want to share with you some ideas on how to mix and match different templates together as well. Okay, so let's just do it. It's not difficult, it's just a little bit time consuming, positioning it to the back, but as you can see, hopefully, that even as I make a bit more changes to this planner um, it still shouldn't take me too much time okay just by re I've basically gone to every page to remove the digital background and change some colors and change the fonts mix and matched uh, some planner pages which I've gotten from 
Melanie's template to combine it with Rebecca's template and then uh, but right now as I'm looking at the clock it still has been about 10 minutes okay so the idea is I could still very well have a brand new product done up in less than half an hour okay so that's something that I would strongly strongly encourage you to strive towards so that you really speed up your digital product creation process when especially when you're using um, commercial use Canva templates because that is why you even get them in the first place, right? To help you save time, to help you save energy, to make use of other people's design expertise, to help you create more products more efficiently. All right, so let's just do that and that's it for now. And if I were to go back to the grid view again, it looks so much more pleasant, at least to me, okay? It looks so much more pleasant right now. Uh, yeah, it looks more in sync with the rest of the pages, so we'll stick to that. Um, there is also a chance that I could go back to every page and delete all the graphics, but I don't mind it at all. I think it is pretty enough and yet not too overwhelming when it comes to printing, so I think I'm going to stick to that. What I would probably want to do is possibly just add in a brand new page uh, for the cover. So here, okay, I'm going to click to drag to select multiple items. Is it possible? All right, just copy this one first, pasting right here and financial organizer. Nice, I love the fonts. Or maybe just duplicate it and split it into two text boxes instead. so that I can position the two words like this. Financial organizer. Yes. Okay, I think I like this better. Let's just shrink it down, move it to the middle, somewhere in the middle of the line to help us, the pink line help us to guide us. And this one, uh, I'm just gonna use this. Ctrl C to copy, Ctrl V to paste it, and I will go a bit bolder with the cover page to back. And if I think there are different florals, yeah, like this one. Let me just click on, I wanna find that. Okay, Ctrl C, hmm, I'm trying to get the whole, yeah, Ctrl C to copy. I'm pasting it here, Ctrl V to paste it. I think it's too much. We're just gonna stick with this. And possibly just put it right here, like this. Yeah. I I kind of like this. Okay? Simple and yet pretty enough. So let me go back to the grid view and see. It looks different from the original, right? Just by removing the digital paper background. It also means that if you were to replace it with another digital paper or replace it, um, remove the florals and replace it with a different graphic, it will also look different. And on the time, we are at just close to 14 minutes, uh, but basically this is it. And of course, not to forget, go to share and click on download. And since I'm selling it as a personal use printable, I'm gonna to go to PDF standard. Usually PDF standard, I find it's good enough. Um, it's good enough resolution for a US letter size document. And I would also go flatten the PDF so that people don't try to re-import the PDF file onto Canva and kind of tear it apart. So that's what I would do. And then I will click on download and that's it. That is it, all right. One new product done by merging by starting with a single set of Canva templates created by the lovely Rebecca and then after that making some changes by combining with it with another some pages from another template created by Melanie and now we have a brand new set of product that we can sell in our shop in less than 15 minutes. All right, thank you so much. I hope that you've enjoyed this and inspired you in some ways and I will see you in the next video.